Good morning, everybody. I am Claire's dad, so I don't forget. We are here to celebrate Claire's life and her enjoyment of reading. This is Claire at 10 years old, about a week before she passed away from a misdiagnosed heart condition. Totally not expected. She loved to read. Claire was our daughter. She was our oldest. She was very animated, full of zest and spirit. Being the oldest of the children, she was always the leader in their play activities. Amazing imagination, but most of all, she loved to read. She took up reading very early and became a very avid reader. She read the gamut. She zoomed from easy readers to chapter books, library trips all the time. My rule was you could check out as many books as you could carry out. Harry Potter is such an incredible magical series and she latched onto that from the start. She read the first two, had the opportunity to read the first two before we lost her. Claire was just 10 years old when we lost her. She had a misdiagnosed heart condition. Sadly, she passed away at camp. To lose a child under any circumstances, very difficult, but when to be blindsided. Um... What are you listening to, Claire? So you can learn a star. Oh yeah? Yeah. There's a loop that runs through your mind about what you could have done maybe differently or should have done differently. And um, for me personally, the the nightmare of what happened at camp was so hard that I had to rewind that tape. I had to switch it up. I had to figure out a way to stop that loop from running through my brain. And I had to find something positive, a way to honor her and yet to help me move forward through the hardness of the grief to be there for Brad and for Kyle and Ian because we all need him to each other. It shouldn't have happened. We just could not live with the truth that we needed to establish happy memories and that's how Claire's Day Festival really became the mind of, of creating something happy and not ugly. We felt compelled to honor Claire in a way that was true to her. With her passion for reading and books, it kept coming to books. And then amazingly, in January 2001, so six months after we lost her, we were flying as a family down to Jacksonville. As I sat in my seat on the airplane, I noticed that there was a Time magazine tucked in the pocket. And I thought, mm, you know, I'll look at it. Leafed through it and came upon an article written about former First Lady Laura Bush, Laura Bush and the Texas Book Festival. 
So I read the story and as I'm reading it, it was like this epiphany, this divine intervention feeling that what they had created with the Texas Book Festival and celebrating Texas-born authors, illustrators, or those who had written about Texas, that this is what we should do. I read the article, I'm crying, and I turn to Brad and he's looking at me like I'm crazy because he has no idea what's going on. And I said, I said, you need to read this. This is what we're going to do to honor Claire. And he had the same reaction. He, I think he cried too. When I first saw her crying, I had no idea what was going on because we could break out into a cry at a moment. Anything could set you off. It can still set you off 18 years later too. And then she hands me the time and I read it and yes, I was crying too at the same time and says, this is what we're going to do. What were the important aspects of what ultimately became known as Claire's Day? We played up the acronym of Celebrating Life, Authors, Illustrators, and Reading Excellence, Claire. So everything that happens at Claire's Day is a focus on books, on literary and literacy accomplishment, and one of the greatest things that we do at Claire's Day is our, our care awards. Since Claire started reading to me at such an early age, at seven, she knew that I had, I had to explain to her that I'm dyslexic. And when she asked me that question, is Daddy, why are you reading the words wrong to me? I mean, it hit me right in the heart. But I had to explain to her that I've been struggling with reading all my life and still struggle. I wanted to have an award for the most improved reader not the best reader in the class, but the most improved reader because I knew how that person struggled and what they felt like when they could finally read. Good morning, everybody. We are here to celebrate Claire's life and her enjoyment of reading. When we started our first year, we had 25 students. For the last few years we've had over a thousand students each year and it just keeps growing and growing. Every nominee, for every child nominated, is receiving the award. It's pretty, pretty cool to have your name on the certificate recognizing the achievement. We give out free books to every, every child gets to pick out their own book. Alright, congratulations! We celebrate children's authors and illustrators from originally Ohio, but we've expanded beyond that. When an author or illustrator shows up at school, they are a movie star or a rock star. The kids' faces just grow, their eyeballs get so big when they hear that person speak because they've had their book. They know them from a book. Now they're live and in person. When Claire Stay first started, and I kind of talked about we would run it for 10 years. Claire was 10 years old, why run it any further? Around year eight, we started thinking more about how to get it going for the long term. We need to do whatever we can to ensure not only the continuation, but growth of Claire's Day. What's amazing to me is that with that growth, what the very essence of Claire's Day that we established that first year still continues, it's just grown exponentially. You have a day where you're celebrating readers, you're celebrating authors and illustrators, you have fun activities for children to enjoy. When you have people that you don't, a total stranger come up to you and ask who you are, and I say Brad Rubini, and then they open up their arms and give me a hug, and then they say their child won a reading award and it's changed their life. You, you can't measure that except for the feeling that you have in your heart. Claire's life gives us more presence than we even know how to count. We just set out to honor Claire and to share her love of reading, not having really any indication of how, how 
much it would grow to think that, yes, this little 10-year-old little reader gone too soon inspired all of this. We chose the third Saturday of May. Her birthday was May 24th, so the closest day to her birthday. To me now, Claire's Day is her birthday, and we have one heck of a birthday party for her. <laughs> and and, and it, seeing all those kids smile is a great present.